chat and go straight to insulting each other. Uh, who wants breakfast? Where's Duke? He's got flu. Uh, Nathan's on the late shift and Shelley's got the day off. Her sister went into labour this morning. This timing couldn't be worse. We've got a new kid arriving later, Wilson. His mum's in hospital. He's going to be staying here for a bit. And I care because... Wilson is going to be sharing with you. <laughs> or with Michael. Oh, I, can't I, can't I, I, I don't care who and I don't care how. When Wilson arrives, one of you is going to be his roommate. I'm not sharing with him. Chances are he's a nutcase. Worried he'll outshine you with a nutcase of the year awards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, I've got an idea. We can have a contest. The winner gets to stay in his room, the loser has to share with Wilson. Oh, yeah? What do you have in mind? Huddle, my friends. I'm so glad you're finally going to meet Adam. He's got the cutest haircut, beautiful eyes, and he wears a baseball cap everywhere. Um, Louise, have you looked in the mirror this morning? Let me guess, Adam played another practical joke on me, right? Oh. Don't worry, it will come off. So, what pranks are you playing on him? None. So, you're telling me he's done all this to you and you haven't retaliated? It's lucky I found out about this. Finished starting your room yet? Haven't started. But your grandpa's visiting later. Don't you want the place to look nice for his first visit? Turns out he can't come. Oh, he's not sick, is he? No. Then what is it? Jackie, you can tell me. Look, the truth is, I cancelled his visit. What? But you were looking forward to seeing him. So what's going on? Just drop it. He's getting away with it. Do you want payback? Sorry. See, Tracy? This is what you call a kind and tolerant person. <laughs> Louise, your foster dad called. He's locked out and he needs your house keys. You better get home. Sorry. If Adam shows up, tell him to meet in my place. What? I'm warning you, Tracy Beaker. It's hard enough for me being on my own today. And if I catch anyone doing anything wrong, I am holding you responsible! Talk about Harley Strum. You've got that look in your eye. What are you thinking? Well, it's just that Adam's on his way over. Feels like the perfect opportunity to teach him a lesson. Thanks. Oh, hi. You must be the new guy, Wilson. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bouncer. So the story's true. Do I have to pass an initiation test where I get locked in the cellar with the rats, right? Oh, and don't forget the evil roommate. Only joking. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I've never shared a room before. I gotta run. I'm organising a contest. Need any help? What kind of contest? Uh, a contest has absolutely nothing to do with a roommate, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think water bombs and eggs are a tad childish. About as childish as drawing moustaches on innocent people's faces. Remind me never to introduce you to any of my boyfriends. Don't worry, you'll never have any. <clears throat> Hi, nice to meet you. So, you think practical jokes are funny, do you? Um, well, sometimes. You think it's funny to laugh at other people's expense? If people can't take a joke, then that's sad, I guess. Just because you're cute doesn't mean you can just walk all over Louise. Why are you smiling? It's just, no one's ever called me cute before. Take that! This must be my initiation test. It's exactly how I pictured it. No, this is payback! Payback for what? Jackie, so we can surprise her. Gosh, thank goodness. I need a hand. Sorry, gotta run. Oh, waitress, could I have a chocolate milkshake with some extra ice cream, please? I'm not a waitress. I'm a social worker. Well, then why did you offer me a milkshake? Surprise! 
Then, Pop, I thought you... Crash called. I told me the visit was back on. You can thank <laughs> me later. So, this is the famous dumping ground, eh? When's the grand tour start? Right away. <laughs> Why'd you have to stick your nose in? But... Big mouth. Bigger bedroom than you had at home. I haven't noticed. You've made it very cosy. No, I haven't. Is this new? That's just a stupid poster one in the car game with Lauren Bouncer. Hmm. Uh. That's just something I'm making for Layla. Might not even bother with it. Uh. That's not mine. Well, of course it is. Look, there's you there, smiling. And that boy, um, smash, pulling faces. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is mine. But I'm not attached to it. To be honest, I'm not attached to any of this stuff. Don't be silly. You've worked so hard to make this place nice. Why do I get the feeling you want something? You've got to help cheat. And what makes you think I'll do that? Oh, wow! Yeah! Imagine all the things I can do with that! I'll make sure I don't spend it all at once. OK, two pounds. Five. So what do I have to do? Home stopper. Ever play so do we let? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Bar of chocolate on Crash to win. You're on. You're not talking to me, Jackie. That's right. Technically, you just did. I won't make the same mistake. There you go again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to So The Roulette. Blindfolds, please. Remove blindfolds. Heads or tails, Crash? Heads. Oh, Crash is first. <laughs> Michael? <coughs> you alright, Justine? Hey, get off the bouncer. Know something? I've been dreading this visit. I was dreading it too. I hate it here. I wish you'd never seen me here. I am not a fool, Jackie. I can see you're okay here. No, you're right. It's just I was worried you seeing me sit old might upset you. Yeah. I was worried this place would be horrible. <laughs> Didn't want to find you unhappy. Well, I can stop worrying. Ah, bye, my love. Miss you. Yeah, I really miss you too. Well, time to go. Mr. Hopper, wait. You won the bet, remember? What bet?
you say anything, I'm really sorry I called you Grandpa. I should have just minded my own business. No, you shouldn't. I'm really glad you came. This is Adam. Adam? Hi. I called and asked him to meet in my place. Tracy, you okay? Oh. Aren't you going to thank me? For what? Do you realise how long you left me down there without food or water? I could have died. Yeah, but you didn't though, did you? It's not the point. Uh, you must be Wilson. Yeah. Uh, when, when did you arrive? A while ago. And, and why are you covered in... What is this? Mainly flour and rotten egg. I see. Tracy, I thought we had an understanding. Why is it always your fault? I... Um... Actually, I did this to myself. See, I love pouring flour over me. And I love the smell of rotten egg. Mmm. <laughs> Someone should make a perfume out of this. In future, Wilson, this isn't acceptable behaviour. I know what you're up to. You do? You've got revenge planned for me. Now, why would I want to do something so immature as that? I can see what you're doing. You're meant to spend my whole life paranoid. Scared to use my own toothpaste. Worried about going to sleep. Constantly looking over my shoulder. But it won't work. I haven't got a scheme planned. You better put me out of my misery. I'm warning you. If you don't put a prank in the next 24 hours, you'll be sorry. Look on the bright side. If your roommate's a complete weirdo, you're getting well together. Hi, I'm Wilson. Crash. I've never shared a room before, so tell me if I know you. Here. If you want to use my stuff, Crash, go ahead. What's mine is yours. Isn't that the roommate code? You owe me five pounds. I plan on staying out here all night. How can I sleep when I know you're going to play a prank on me? I promise I'll never play a prank on you. You're a really nice person, Wilson. Thanks, Tracy. You won't last five minutes in this place. 